Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you two new travel cases for the DJI Mavic Mini that will not only help you keep your gear organized, but really protect it when you're on the go. Now, anytime a new drone hits the market, we immediately begin searching for all the accessories being developed to support that product. And we'll bring a bunch of them in, we'll take them out in the field with us, and we'll test them for a couple of weeks and really beat them up to figure out which products work and which ones don't. When I find something I like, I'll sit down and put a clip like this together to explain the value of the products. Now, one of the first accessories we look to test is a protective case for the drone, because let's be honest, buying a drone is a really expensive decision, and not only is it an expensive product, but it comes with a ton of tiny little parts that are gonna scatter all over the room if you're not careful. So having a case like this where you can keep the drone safe, keep all the accessories together, just makes it a whole lot easier. And that way you know when you want to go out and fly for an afternoon, you grab the case, you're out the door, and you're ready to go. So we spent a lot of time looking at different cases on the market, and I'll explain why some of them are better than others. But fundamentally, there's two types of travel cases on the market. There's a hard case, and there's a series of soft cases. I'm going to review the soft cases today, and I'll review the hard cases in a different clip. And there are reasons why you'd go with either one of those. Typically, a hard case is great if you're doing a lot of traveling and you're going to be on airplanes or trains and you're going to be gone for a long period of time. It's a very rigid case that will survive abuse out in the field. You can take it in a wet environments and get it soaked and it's completely waterproof and it's typically a lot bigger. The challenge with a hard case for a smaller drone like this is that the whole point of the Mavic Mini is to have a portable drone that doesn't take a lot of thought to get out the door and fly. So if I've got a case that's gigantic for this thing. Now all of a sudden I'm carrying a suitcase with me for a tiny little drone. So I like the soft cases because they're small, they're portable, they're lightweight. You can easily slide one of these in a, in a suitcase or a duffel bag if you're traveling for a couple of days on an airplane and they just make it a lot easier to carry it around. So I'm gonna show you two cases that we really, really like. One of them I'm gonna call the compact case. It's the smallest case you can get that'll actually hold the drone, the controller, and a bunch of accessories. Then I have another one we're gonna call the deluxe case which is a little bit bigger but it holds a a whole lot more stuff. And just for comparison purposes, I'll put it up against the DJI case that comes with the Flymore combination. And you can see this one is almost exactly the same size, it's just a little bit taller, and that's because there's a pocket in the top of this that will hold extra accessories. This one's a lot smaller, but again, we were searching for one that was as small as we could get it to still carry everything with us, and this thing is tiny. I mean, this will slide the suitcase, it takes up less space than a pair of shoes. Now, I will talk a little bit about the one that DJI released here. If you bought the Flymore combination, you actually got this beautiful travel case. And I have to compliment DJI because in years past, you would basically buy a drone, you'd tear open the box and you'd end up with the drone, the accessories, and a whole lot of cardboard, cellophane, and styrofoam, right? There was nothing to protect the drone. So you immediately had to go out and start searching for a case. I feel like they did an excellent job with this case for the Flymore combination. The challenge is, they aren't offering the case as an accessory yet. They've got another case they're offering as an accessory, which is bigger. It's not quite as sleek as this one. So maybe they'll put it on their website later on or not, but this case does a really good job of holding your accessories. The challenge is if you bought the regular version of the Mavic Mini, you didn't get the case and there's really no way to add the case to it. So that's why we started testing these other cases. So inside the DJI Flymore case, Again, let me, let me, before I get into this too deep, all of these cases are water resistant. They're not waterproof, so you can't dunk them underwater, but if they get wet, they get snow on them, they get mud on them, you can wipe them off with a towel and dry them off and you'll be fine. Um, all three of these cases are crush proof as well, which is really important because a lot of the cases we tested that were soft cases were not crush proof cases. And the challenge there is if there's no support inside the case to prevent this from getting crushed inside of a suitcase, all the pressure on top of it is gonna be on your drone, which means it's gonna damage the propellers and may jam damage the joysticks. So you wanna find a case is crush proof. All three of these are crush proof. So inside the Mavic Mini Flymore combination, you've got room for the drone, the uh, charging hub, and the controller. And even underneath it, you've got room for cabling. And underneath this, you've got room for a charger or extra battery. So they really do a good job of, of building a case that everything fits into in a really small package. Now, again, if you can't get this, these other two cases I think are a good alternative. So I'll start with the small one first. The small one's designed really to handle the Mavic Mini and the controller. So the Mavic Mini fits in right here, and the controller nestles in next to it right there, and you can close it up. Now you're thinking, well, what do I do with all this extra stuff? Well, the honest truth is this one's not designed to handle a hub, but it'll handle a battery. So you can actually put batteries in this expanded case in the back here. You've got this 
little meshing on the back that gives you a little extra room. And you can stick two batteries inside there. You can even get a cable and a controller in there if you want. And this I take with me an awful lot. So if I'm on the road for a couple of days and maybe I'm on a traveling on a trip or something and I'm not gonna be gone for very long, I'll take this, throw it in my suitcase and everything I need is in this case. I also like the fact that I've got a loop on it where I can hang it off a carabiner on a backpack if you're walking through the woods. So it's a really nice little case. Heavy duty zippers, they've got two pull tabs on it so you can open it either way. And that's the basic case. Now that's the smallest case. And that was really the mission is to find the tiniest case we could find to actually hold all the stuff we want to travel with. More often than not, I'm using the deluxe case because it gives me a little bit more room for extra stuff. And I'll show you that in a second. So the deluxe case is really designed to handle pretty much everything this case handles with a little extra room. So on the larger case, you've got room in there for, also comes with a back, uh, strap as well, a shoulder strap, because there are two little loops on the side where you can strap it and hang it on like a strap bag. You can also use a carabiner to hold it off a backpack. But inside the case, you'll see there's room for the drone, there's room for the controller, and there's room for the um, battery bank as well. So I can slide all this stuff in there, plenty of room for this stuff to nestle down in there nice and neat. Again, I've got some concerns about the propellers, you gotta be gentle with those. There's room on the bottom here for two batteries. It'll even hold the, you can see the batteries fit in the bottom there. It'll hold the charging hub. You can even put cables underneath the controller. On the top, you've got an extra board right here that'll hold things with elastic bands on it. So I've got the screwdriver on there. I've got two of the propellers on there. You could put SD cards in the bottom. You could put cables in here if you want. Then you have this nice pouch up top. There's like a mesh screen here on the inside that's nice and soft. And if you open this up, you've got a pouch up top where you can hide your power supply cables, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. So you can put extra batteries up there if you want. And all that fits inside the same case. And again, what I like so much about these is that they're crush proof. They're, they're not going to allow you to damage anything by pushing down. This one especially, because it's got a little extra room on the top of it. So this could crush a little bit and still not even come in contact with the equipment. But I've used these in the field for a couple of weeks. I like them an awful lot. This one's got a really nice handle on the bottom. And this one's got, like I said, that little loop here for the carabiner so you can hang it off your backpack. And they're pretty inexpensive comparatively. Um, and again, I know the case that's available on the DJI website um, is a couple of bucks. These are right in the same price range, but for me, Having a small case, and that's the challenge, right? You're trying to find that Goldilocks zone where you don't want too big a case because then it's a pain to bring along. And if it's too small and won't hold everything, that's not gonna work either. So this is the one I go to for my compact case when I'm taking short trips. This is the one I use on the longer trips. And again, we have one of these, but I have two drones. So I've gotta have a second case for it because I bought one fly more and one non fly more. And this one works really well for carrying all my extra gear. So that's pretty much it for today. Now, again, I will be reviewing some of the harder cases um, and that'll be in a week or two. We'll talk about those because some people are asking about the harder cases and I guess having a hard case for a drone this small to me I don't know if it makes a lot of sense but a lot of people like those kind of cases when they're going on long trips so I've got two that I'm reviewing I actually had five we brought in two of them kind of made the cut and I'm going to talk about those in a second clip coming up couple of things to keep in mind when you're looking for a case like this. Again, I'd mentioned, make sure that it's water resistant. A lot of these are soft kind of uh, vinyl and they crush real easy. They're not crush proof and they're also not water resistant. So if you take a case out like this, know that if you drop it, and it gets wet or you drop it in the snow, you're not gonna get water inside the case and damage your quad. And that's pretty much it for today. So both of these are available on the website. I've got links below if you wanna check them out. Uh, we like them enough where we're gonna sell them on the website. So if you've got any questions about anything I've covered today, drop those in the comments below as well. Now I do wanna tell you again that we're just about to launch the 12 days of Drone Valley Christmas. And if you're a fan of the channel, you know what that means. We basically give away 12 days of prizes to anybody that's watching the channel and subscribed. All you have to do is enter the contest. We'll pick a name at random. We put it in an envelope or a box if it's a bigger prize, that's a hint, that if it's a bigger prize, and we'll send it to you free of charge. There's no shipping charges, no strings attached, no shenanigans, as I like to say. We basically just pick a winner and send you something for Christmas, and it's a great time of year. I'm a very happy guy every time Christmas rolls around. So please stay tuned to the channel, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell down there. I promise I'm not gonna post any clips in the middle of the night. I'll try and keep them during business hours, but that way you'll know that a new clip came up. You can come back, you can enter the contest, and maybe win something cool for Christmas. And that's pretty much it for today. So. Thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, happy flying.